Hey YouTubers, it is Matt. This is Armstrong Gaming. Welcome back to Series 2 of XCOM. It's been about a week in real life since I last did this episode. Um, played a little bit of it yesterday and tweaked around with a couple of settings for recording capture and hopefully doing a few bits and pieces there. So, um, familiarizing myself. We got a ton of credits. We're being asked to go to the Situation Room. What's, what's going on? Alright, so um, we've got four satellites available and three spots. So obviously we built one for Brazil, but we lost them. Eh, no big loss. Uh, covert Ops. Um, let's do another Covert Ops. Sweep worldwide. Argentina. Alright, let's send a guy or a girl there. Who have they been sending along? We're not sending Kingy. I like Kingy. Alright, there's got to be somebody else I've got in the sniper role. It's hard to remember who... No, she's it. She is on the mission. Pistol, frag grenade, frag grenade. Bye! Hopefully she's okay. Um, we'll find out in a couple of days. When we go to rescue her, there she is. She'll pop up just before the labs. And that's the other company. So. Oh, that's right. The bomb disposal. I completely forgot about that. Alright. Clear. Clear. Um, let's take Hudson. Why not? She's pretty good. And uh, let's take Gupta. Gupta. Ella Gupta. Yeah, we're definitely taking Gupta. Guppies. All right. Um, we haven't got the alien containment facility yet either, so we can't b be bothered going off and doing that. So, um. I think we're going to change formats like we did a little bit in the last one where I do the combats now and I talk through it rather than doing highlights. Um, if you want me to go back to highlights, sure, let me know. Drop me a note. There's a comment section below. I read every comment and reply to every one that I get. Um, I think it's invaluable the information you guys can provide me. I don't want to put him there because... Of oh, stuff. Let's move him there. Alright, so in this map, typically, once it stops teaching me how to do a bomb disposal, I know how to do a bomb disposal. It's okay, you press A, it diffuses the bomb. I doesn't need any, you know, skills in rocket science or chemistry or bomb diffusal school 101. Uh, bomb is typically there. So that's where I head. So just there. But it can be randomized. So, uh, Bellyuri hasn't quite got the speed to get there, so let's move him there. Who else we got? Matthews, she can't quite get there. Let's move her there. Next is Donaldson. Donaldson can make it there, so we're going to chuck her there and then. Yep, I was going to say that I hopefully scout the area, then I can move her back if she's in a flanked position, which she is not, so disarm the bomb, 81%, 81%. Got a better likelihood that that guy will be spot by my other guys, as opposed to this guy, so I'm going to shoot this guy. Doesn't matter, missed regardless. Let's move Hudson over here. I know she's not going to get a shot. Actually, can we move her up on the top of there? No. Let's just chuck her on Overwatch. Chuck him on Overwatch. Overwatch. I know it's very defensive of me to put everybody on Overwatch, even though I can see the opponents. 
and I've split the shots between two guys, but little things like this might actually do stuff. Well, that was just perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better script then. Um, opportunities like that do occasionally come across really, really well. Close combat specialist rocks up again. Kingy gets a reaction shot. Gets a kill. Boom. Overwatch defensive. Winning. Love it sometimes. Other times it's a shit. Alright. You. Let's put you there because you get two forms of cover, Miss Donaldson. And disarm another bomb, which gives me another turn. So effectively that last turn did not matter. Going to give her a little bit of height. It's not much, but elevation counts for this chick. So might as well give it. Um, where am I going to put you? I'll put you there because I can't run you around the other side. And check you on Overwatch. Probably shouldn't be checking all my guys on Overwatch, all things considered. But... Sometimes it's good to have them on Overwatch. Please tell me I got that correctly. Yes, I did. Cool. Overwatch. Goopies! Um, Emilia Gupta! Yeah, Goopy! Um, no, don't dash him forward too far. Let's put him there. Baliori! God, I love that boy. He's such a good shot. Uh, Overwatch for Dono. Overwatch Matthews. And that should be it. Cool. So yes, I'm moving slowly. I probably shouldn't have bombed a fusel, uh, but you get benefits now that I've scouted a little bit. There we go. Find the enemies, kill them easily, and then I can move around safely. Uh, so far, I can't see the bomb. He hasn't got a shot, so check him on Overwatch because he's already done dash move. How has she not got a shot? He's got a shot. Oh, that, that explains that. Okay. I'm going to put you there. And there's the bomb. Pretty much where I said it would be. So that's really nice and handy. 90%. And this is where your percentages come into play. Having a character with some good aim. Oh, although poor shooting ability can really help um, move him there put him on overwatch in case that guy decides to flank around put her there because I know she's got a shot 74% the other guy had a shotgun because it was Gupta oh nice shot so his percentage would have been lower um, although I don't have any statistical evidence because I didn't look, I can only imagine. Okay? So, there wasn't really much use of doing what I did, but at the same time, it had a lot of use. So, we got one guy still up because of just bad damage roulette. Um, oh, you bastard. I hate it when they spit their poison because it's a guaranteed hit for like at least two damage. Nowhere really good to put him, so I'm going to put him there. I know he hasn't got a shot, but it's for the next couple of turns. Um, she'll get the kill from here. Ah, oh, crap, she spots another one. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so I'm going to have to put Hudson up higher. Diffuse, 100%. We gets the kill. But now she can't really move. Well, there's got to be an up. Really? There, there's the only up. So let's move over there. He can move there. Uh, and this is now setting up for the following turn because what I want to do is have 
enough people in enough spots that I can effectively counteract the enemies dropping in. Because after you dispose of the bomb, they just drop from the sky um, and land all over the shop. So you want to have a couple of guys on Overwatch when you defuse that bomb. Uh, there's a little announcement over the PA system scenario and everything. Alright, so I'm going to have to start moving my people into areas of better guns and... Oh man, how did she miss? Seriously. Chuck her up there because she'll have a shot next turn if she even gets a shot. She's still only to have shot her pissed off once. I can move up to there. What's he got? 35%. What the hell? Oh! Love that boy sometimes. He should not have been able to make that shot. Like, it, it just isn't possible. So we're moving King out because he's got a... Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's not what I wanted. Um, put her there. Because this guy's going to wander into the screen now and have a shot at one of my guys. Do I have any coffee left? I fucking do. Awesome! Oh, lovely. Hudson's going to take that shot because she needs the experience. Boom. 100%. Boom. Love it. Alright. Cool. Disarm the bomb. A couple of turns remaining. And then obviously the first objective is killing the aliens. And wipe any remaining aliens and come on home. And then you've got a wave of x-rays popping up on your location. Keep your eyes up. You know, nothing unexpected from central they they generally this is a theme that they put in they go you've cleared the map of enemies we're going to put some more in just whoop and chuck them automatically into overwatch so the way to counter at that is to be on overwatch yourself and know where they're going to land generally it's around the bomb because that's where you're going to be so as you can see dropping in on both sides around the bomb overwatching on both of them kingy got a shot off but missed horrifically and now he's got a second shot. That's a 93% and he... That's got a 93. Barum. Dead. Gotcha. Right in the head. Nice. And Huddy. 100%. Clears the map. All done. We're dusted. They're dead. Awesome. Eight kills. Nice and easy. Uh, and missions like this, you really... I, I really should have been bringing a lot more rookies. Alright, so we're back. Uh, we had a bit of a game crash, which was fun. Had to redo the last three kills, but no major changes from what actually happened. Pretty much the exact same stuff. Kingy, finally up to a colonel. Uh, where's all my notes? Oh man, it's been a week. Oh, I've put them somewhere. This this is just something I should have been organ. Here they are. Where's that pen? I had a pen. Be right back. Alright, apologies for that. Um, misplaced my pen. <laughs> Alright, so Kingy went up by 2 at his final level to hit a 95 with a 98 will. What a guy. Just, just absolute tank of tank. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, Killer Instinct I'm not so worried about. Resilience is pretty sweet though. 50% critical damage for the rest of the turn. I can get his critical damage up anyway, and his critical is pretty high for the shotgun. I can get his critical up other ways. I'm going Resilience. Alright, Matthews. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, do it. Soldiers. Hudson. Let's go Hudson first. Hudson was a 109. She's now 114. That's pretty good. I've seen better. But 105 is what you can expect from a Colonel Snapper. She is 9 above. Alright, double tap. Love it. 
No, no, you're failing to uncover it. It does not cause an action. Apparently in the zone you can... Using flush abilities, uh, destroying their cover, and all that sort of stuff with a whole bunch of other stuff, you can have in the zone just constantly going. I haven't done an in the zone build, so I'm going to roll a double tap. Alright. Matthews. 86. Up from an 84. That's pretty sweet. That's 11 higher than a kernel of the same rank. Oh. Cool. She's got another rank to go. She's already 11 ahead. Good for her. And Gupta. Made it to a major. Gets extra conditioning. And Gupta goes up by one. Which is not great. But he also has a 97 in will. Which is fantastic. Oh, he's my boy. Krishna Gupta. I love ya. Um, so... What do I need to do? Uh, build facilities. Build some faculties. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I am building an angling containment unit. There we go. Alright, sweet. So, let's go through to the next day. Actually, hang on, let's have a quick look at the rest of the soldiers. You're pretty sweet. You're sweet. You're sweet. Oh, that's the Emmy. Not that good. Anyway, um, let's go ahead to get the alien containment unit. There it is. Carry on. Carry on, my way, Woodson. Uh, what size is it? Large Scout. So I need a mix. Hudson, you're not coming. I've got one other sniper, and she's on a different mission. Cookie, no, no, no. Henrik de Graaf? Wait, Erica Warren. I didn't even notice I had you, Miss Warren. Oh, I don't have enough body armor to go around. Ah, you'll be fine. Probably not. I think I'll go with Hudson. She'll be my main source of damage. Kingy, you're out. The rest of you guys are in. Gupta. Uh, I can't believe we weren't giving you um, another grenade. But it's not like you use them, so it's not a really big loss. Um, I want... You, because you're assault. Load out. Arc. I'm not going to equip him with anything. I really don't want him in that position, though. Because that's reserved for the um, captain of the team. Which he is clearly not. Put Gupta as our captain because you can use their will bonus for surrounding guides, which is a 97, which is really good. So this one, we're going to try and capture some aliens. Um, and I'll try and do this really super fast and use double tap as much as possible to show you what it does. And I'm going to do live cuts. So I'm going to cut now until we see our first enemies. I'm going to load back in. I'm going to do this without doing post-production work. So this could be fun. All right, first spot of the aliens. So it's a landed shuttle, so we can... Shuttle? Landed spacecraft, so we can expect heavy resistance. I.e. the normal aliens that would have died inside of the crash are alive and healthy. And will attempt to mess you up at all opportunities. I picked up the first bit of meld as well, which is quite nice. Um, only got 81, so let's take that one. Cool. That worked out quite well. Put you there. Oh, you're the sniper. Put you on Overwatch. Probably should have moved you closer, but I'll deal with that. Those issues later on. I want to put you there because you're my arc thrower, dude. 
You're not an arc thrower, but I don't want to put you there because you haven't got the greatest shot. She, she's like an 84, 85. Now, so there's two still around because they were in a group of three. There you go. The mental arithmetic is coming through. Oh, shot on. Oh, man, that is... Oh, that's, that's unfortunate because when he loses that extra hit point, he doesn't actually lose it off his total. He loses it from his original... Oh, great, and she hasn't got a shot on, and that'll have to do as a shot because he's on Overwatch. Hey, got the kill. Now I can move Hudson forward. Height. I want height. There. And then next turn I'll move her forward another slot to where I'm going to move Bayori, which is there. And then Bayori will go forward the turn after that. Alright, so I am rocking five of my normal guys and this guy Yona Yona he's got a shotgun from distance he's not gonna wow he did well he sure taught me a lesson for his first kill <laughs> I totally did not expect that all right and uh, life cut we'll be back in a second all right incoming aliens we've managed to get them to come out I managed to move Hudson to where I wanted her and three overwatch shots result in three overwatch shot misses. Lots of missed. Cutson's going to take a shot though. And she gets the kill. Nice. She is powerful with that pistol. Alright. There's also Meld inside. So unlike normally where I, I like to hang back a little bit. And sort of be a bit of an a-hole about you know, tactics versus the aliens. Be cautious. Gupta's going to go forward. He's going to spot some more dudes. Uh, robotic, what are they, floaters? Not good for what we wanted, but he doesn't have a shot on them either. Alright. A little bit of rocket power. Beep. This should give us a little bit extra sight. Now we should be able to see in, and we can see a floater. Huddy, you're up, sister. Show us what that sweep sniper rifle is made of. Boo! Bang, bitch! Got him! It was a 100% chance to hit it. She wasn't going to miss. The only unfortunate thing is I've destroyed all of the resulting cover. Like, except for across here. So I'm going to have to move my guys to that position and scoot around the corner in the next turn. I want you... That's as close as I can get you. And then that'll do for the troops. Put her in overwatch because she's a half decent shot. So when he... If he decides to pop out... Oh no... Ooh, nice. Good miss. Alright. Hudson. Let's see some double tap in action. Oh man, didn't kill him. Really? Three damage? Double tap. Let's go against the new guy. Let's go headshot. There's the kill animation. That's what we like to see. That guy's dead. And that's why I like my snipers. They kill things dead. Um, since we've only just built the alien device, capturing any alien... Uh-oh. Yeah, I just had a little, ooh, that's not good, moment. Killing any alien, capturing any alien alive is a good thing at this point. I thought I could run in and use his ability, but clearly I was wrong. I was very wrong, and if he dies, I should not know what to do, because Gupta will have to do all the work then. That poor, unfortunate soul. Pretty much after the outsider alien only. Like, it's the only alien you should care about at this point of the game. Um, when it comes to capturing it, because he's the one you got to capture anyway. So, 
We are going to move ever so slowly now through this section. I might actually have to even move Hudson through. Because Gupta's going to do all the hard yards. Um, move you there. Next turn you can heal. I think I'll leave Hudson outside. I, I don't think I need her inside. Two more floaters, which is good. I've still got four charges of arc throwers and meld in that direction. You... Alright, apparently you're, you're not close enough to this guy to heal him. There we go. Heal wounds. Boom. Heals for four. Back up to four. So he can charge into combat. If need be. So hopefully he can get one of these guys captured and one of these guys killed by himself. Oh, that that's actually handy. How much does it shock for? Chance of targets hit points are at three or below. Oh, I gotta do the pistol. Seventy-seven percent chance. Got him for two. That that's all I needed. Move Gupta to there. I know I'm taking a bit of a risk with the new guy, but that's what the new guys are for. They're way more expendable than anybody else in your squad. Who would you rather sacrifice? Would you rather sacrifice your colonel? Or would you rather sacrifice that one little guy who was... And maybe he was okay. Maybe he could have gone somewhere. But it was still very early days and you can just hire another soldier. Yes, I'm playing with the elitists so those good soldiers are harder to come by. But doesn't mean I can't do them. And I'm not going to take that shot. I'm going to reload her shot, uh, sniper rifle instead. I almost said shotgun. That could have been awkward. Imagine a shotgun at that range. Oh, He's on Overwatch. This guy's going to take some... S oh. Well, that worked out well. Boop, 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 boop. Stun. 80% chance. You got one. That's what we wanted. Moving up to forward. Move Valyori forward. And the idea is... Don't open that door. Because it's pretty sure the... Um, alien I want is on the opposite side. And if he is... Then I'll open the door. Go through. And then kill him. Next turn. Or stun him. Next turn. Because he's only got three hit points. Which means... You can just zap. Got him. Donaldson's got a reactive shot. I, I do not know how she hit that. There is no line of sight there. Ridiculous shot sometimes. Alright, Gupta, let's do your thing. I can't use running gun. He's right there. And I've got four turns to get that meld as well. Where are you going? Get it. Stay nice and close. I literally can stand next to him and do this. Alright. 70% chance? Are you kidding me? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Got it! First go! Hell yeah! Alright, see you guys back at the bait. We did it, we did it. We progressed the story, the story. First go, la 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 la. Booyah! Yeah, there's, there's stuff there. Um, So I knew you guys out for 12 days. No big loss! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. We got some light plasma research available, which is good. I like my light plasma rifles. We picked up two plasma rifles as well, both in the light inspector. We picked up a bunch of iridium, a bunch of alien alloys, a bunch of meld, outside of shard, power sources, power flights, alien fragments, you name it, we got it. It's there. We're doing good. This is what we want. Bam. We are doing incredibly well at the moment. I'm going to do this, even though I probably shouldn't. Bam. Uh, I want to go launch the lights. Build my uplinks. Oh, but I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Six days. Pout. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, da -da 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 -da. Engineering. Foundry. Cool. Because why not? 
I'm not going to do the heavy weapons platform, it's not my style. Um, build items, what can we build? Cool, so that brings us up to six nanofiber vests. None of Viper. Change research project. How is that a priority? Anyway. Um Alright, we'll continue with the skeleton suit for at least a little bit until we get the next upgrade. Alright, so that should do this uh, episode. We're doing incredibly well. We only progressed like a day, but we did two missions. We progressed the storyline. Our main story quest line is not to do much at the moment. We're going to float to interrogate. We'll do that next time around. This is Matt. This is Armstrong Gaming. This was a successful episode. I'm very, very happy with what's happened on this. So if you want to give it a share, a like, and some comments, I would very much appreciate that. Take care, guys. Enjoy your gaming.